Picture this, a flickering screen, the room illuminated only by the gentle glow of the television. It's a time capsule, a journey back to the late 80 seconds, where the world seemed a touch simpler, and the Wild West held an air of untamed mystery. And there it was, a hidden gem that captured your attention from the very first scene. The Young Riders, a TV series that etched its mark on your heart. Remember that feeling. The thrill of discovering a show that whisked you away on horseback into the land of riders, ranches, and riveting drama. The characters became companions, their triumphs and tribulations felt like your own. Maybe it was the camaraderie of the Pony Express, or the echoes of history reverberating through each episode that kept you hooked. And those moments, those unforgettable snippets that have stayed with you over the years. The tension of a high-stakes poker game, the dust settling after a dramatic showdown, the raw emotions coursing through the screen as relationships blossomed and unraveled. The young writers didn't just tell stories, it painted a vivid canvas of life on the frontier, weaving in threads of courage, passion, and the untamed human spirit. But enough reminiscing, let's delve into some fascinating tidbits about the show that might surprise even the most ardent fans. Did you know that many of the episodes were inspired by real historical events? The blend of fact and fiction added a layer of authenticity that set the series apart. And speaking of authenticity, the attention to period-accurate costumes and set design was truly a labor of love, transporting you effortlessly into the 19th century. So, as we ride down the trail of nostalgia and discovery, remember the way you stumbled upon the young riders and how it carved a place in your heart. The thrill of that first encounter still lingers, a testament to the timeless allure of a series that captured the essence of a bygone era. And now, let's journey deeper into the saddle with some captivating facts about the show that might just surprise you, transporting you back to the frontier with each revelation. All of this and more waiting just around the corner, so stay tuned for a ride down memory lane. On memory lane. In 1989, television audiences were transported to the rugged frontier of the Old West through the gripping series The Young Riders. While the show showcased a band of Pony Express riders delivering messages in the year 1860, one pivotal figure in that time's history remained overlooked, the founding of the Pony Express by Russell, Majors, and Waddell. The series, despite its historical backdrop, didn't delve into this rich backstory, leaving viewers with an untold narrative of the Express origins. Don Franklin's addition in the second season added another layer of authenticity to the show. Remarkably, Franklin had never mounted a horse before joining the cast, prompting producers to send him to an intensive cowboy camp for four days. This crash course in horsemanship allowed Franklin to master the basics of riding, an essential skill for his role. His commitment to realism mirrored the dedication of the Pony Express riders themselves. The young riders, during its run, employed an estimated 400 horses, echoing the vast equestrian reliance of the historical Pony Express era. These steeds were not mere props, they were essential elements of the show's portrayal of 1860. The dedication to using these animals authentically tied the series to the true spirit of the time, highlighting the grit and determination of both the riders and their trusty mounts. As the sun set on the young riders, it left a legacy of adventure and authenticity. The show, while fictional, encapsulated the essence of the Old West and its unsung heroes, capturing the essence of a bygone era. era, era, era. ABC TV's The Young Riders faced legal turbulence in its third season. The show, a hit for the network, was slapped with a lawsuit by the producers of the Young Guns film series. Allegations of copyright infringement loomed over the TV series, prompting a strategic move by the network. In an attempt to mitigate legal woes, several season three episodes began with a clear disclaimer, a production of MGM World Television Group, not based on Morgan Creek's films Young Guns and Young Guns 2. This legal twist added intrigue to the already gripping narrative of youthful riders traversing the dangerous terrain of the Old West. The show, centered around the Pony Express, painted a vivid picture of the challenges these brave riders faced. The recruitment ad, with its stark words, wanted, young, skinny, wiry fellows not over 18, must be expert riders willing to risk death daily. Orphans preferred, captured the essence of the perilous task. The young riders galloped into the hearts of viewers, shedding light on a brief yet impactful period in history. The Pony Express, operational for just 18 months, revolutionized communication across vast distances, shaving off precious time for messages to traverse from coast to coast. 
However, the shadow of progress loomed large as the invention of the telegraph quickly followed, rendering the once revolutionary service obsolete. A legal skirmish and historical context underscored the show's resonance as it intertwined drama with historical significance. The young writers may have concluded its run, but its impact still reverberates through the annals of television and history alike. Engaging both Western enthusiasts and legal minds, the show managed to navigate the tumultuous terrain of the small screen and the courtroom, offering a ride worth remembering. When Don Franklin joined the show in the second season of The Young Riders, he had never ridden a horse before, so he was sent to cowboy camp for four days before filming started in order to learn the basics of riding. The immersive training paid off, as Franklin's portrayal of a young rider on the Pony Express became a central highlight of the series. The year was 1989, and The Young Riders galloped onto television screens bringing the thrilling history of the Pony Express to life. The show's creators sought authenticity, drawing from historical accounts and even Pony Express riders' recruitment ads. One such ad famously read, Wanted, young, skinny, wiry fellows not over 18. Must be expert riders, willing to risk death daily. Orphans preferred. This was a world where speed meant survival, and the legendary William F. Cody, best known as Buffalo Bill, was perhaps the most celebrated rider of the Pony Express. His daring feats and unyielding determination left an indelible mark on the show's narrative. As viewers tuned in week after week, the young riders captured the spirit of adventure and the camaraderie that defined the Pony Express era. Don Franklin's transformation from a novice to a skilled equestrian mirrored the young rider's own journeys, both on screen and behind the scenes. Franklin's commitment to mastering horsemanship mirrored the dedication of the original riders, and it shone through in his portrayal. In an age where historical accuracy often takes a backseat to entertainment, the young riders stood out for its commitment to bringing the past to life. Don Franklin's crash course in riding before the second season exemplified the dedication of the cast and crew to authenticity, reminding us that sometimes stepping out of one's comfort zone can lead to the most remarkable performances. So, as we reflect on the 1989 TV series The Young Riders, let us remember Don Franklin's four-day cowboy camp adventure, a testament to the lengths artists are willing to go for their craft. Just as the young riders of the Pony Express faced untamed landscapes and uncertain dangers, so too did Franklin conquer the challenge of mastering horsemanship for the sake of his role. It's a story that bridges the past with the present, a tale of determination and dedication that remains a cherished chapter in television history. ABC TV faced legal turbulence due to its series The Young Riders, which rode the airwaves in 1989. This western drama, centered around the youthful Pony Express riders, caught more than just the viewers' attention. The show's creators found themselves entangled in a legal duel with the producers of the Young Guns film series, alleging infringement. In an intriguing turn of events, ABC TV was slapped with a lawsuit by the producers of Young Guns, a series of cinematic westerns. The lawsuit claimed that the young riders encroached upon their territory, drawing parallels to their films. This legal showdown resulted in a noticeable alteration for the third season of the show. Several season three episodes of The Young Riders bore a new introduction, a production of MGM World Television Group, not based on Morgan Creek's films Young Guns and Young Guns 2. This disclaimer was a strategic move to distance the TV series from the cinematic franchise, and, presumably, to appease the legal wrangling. The young writers successfully maneuvered through this legal hurdle, keeping its galloping narrative intact. A testament to the enduring allure of Western-themed stories, the show continued its journey despite the legal dust kicked up along the trail. While the Pony Express itself lasted a mere 18 months, its impact resonates. This historical mail delivery service, with the renowned William F. Cody among its ranks, sped messages across vast stretches of land, reducing communication time from coast to coast. However, progress loomed on the horizon in the form of the telegraph, heralding the end of the Express short but impactful era. In the world of the young riders, legal battles and historical echoes intertwined leaving a trail of intrigue as captivating as the West itself. The show's journey, fraught with legal tangles, mirrored the challenges of the Pony Express riders it celebrated. 
The echo of hooves and the crackle of telegraph wires both resonate, reminding us that stories, like history, have their own unique ways of reaching us, reaching us, reaching us, reach as we ride off into the sunset of our discussion about the captivating 1989 TV series, The Young Riders. It's clear that this show isn't just a collection of episodes. It's a time machine that has carried us back to the era of untamed frontiers, where courage, camaraderie, and challenges reign supreme. As you've delved into the lives of these young riders, perhaps you've unearthed a piece of yourself, a hidden corner of your heart that resonates with their adventures and trials. From the exhilarating gallop of hooves to the quiet moments of introspection around a campfire, the young riders has etched memories in our minds that echo long after the credits roll. It's more than just a TV series. It's a journey that invites you to reflect on your own experiences, aspirations, and connections. Did you find yourself riding alongside them through the highs and lows, as if the open prairie were your playground too? Or maybe their friendships reminded you of the bonds you forged with your own companions on this journey called life. Whether it's the thrill of facing the unknown or the pang of bittersweet farewells, The Young Riders has left an indelible mark on each of us. So, as the echoes of hoofbeats and laughter fade into the horizon, I invite you to share your personal stories, cherished memories, and profound thoughts about this remarkable series. Let your words become part of the tapestry that celebrates the spirit of The Young Riders and the way it's intertwined with your own narrative. Thank you for taking this nostalgic ride with us, for allowing the past to intersect with the present, and for sharing in the magic that is the young riders. Your insights enrich the journey and keep the flame of these stories alive. Until we meet again to delve into the realms of another captivating tale, keep those memories close and your spirit adventurous. Ride on, reflect, and remember, because the legacy of the young riders lives on in each of us. With appreciation, your name, name, name.